welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to quickly show you how i retouch my hair this is not one of my strongest department and i feel as if i have to work extra hard in maintaining what i have or if not i will be hairless so the relaxer i love to use that i've been using for a while is this by only vital and it comes in sachets like this and i use about one or one and a half depending on how much new growth i have the relaxer also comes with this shampoo and it's a neutralizing shampoo you i always try to make sure that i have every single thing i need on ground before i start before i start retouching my hair so this is what i use to mix my relaxer like i cut this into okay so this has the relaxer and the activator i have had people ask me before if i can use one of these or whatever no you have to mix both of them to have a complete relaxer kit so i just cut that and mix it inside here i have my brush on ground you have to make sure you have everything i have my applicator this small one have your detangling comb have a comb to section of your hair a rat tail comb you also need hand gloves to keep your hands protected and like a stopper to have on your wrist here so that your hand glove doesn't slide all over the place and i think that is okay and also you need like hair grease or pomade whatever to apply to protect your scalp around your head and sometimes i also apply it at my ends just to make sure that even when the relaxer touches it i do not consciously apply relaxer to this place but in case relaxer gets there i need to make sure that my hair doesn't process again all over again you get so i think now i am ready to start so you squeeze in the two parts The next thing I do before putting on my hand glove is to section, make my hair into sections and also apply a protection for my scalp. So you see here and it's best you take off any jewelries you have on because you're about to play with the chemical. So. When I'm retouching for my clients, if they have lots of hair, I section into four sections. And if the hair is not too full, like mine, I use three sections and it works fine. You have to make sure your hair is detangled before you stop for your own good because if you have tangles, it's going to in increase your relaxer time. So some other thing I do, this is the right time to, I will take about this quantity. Don't rub it in too much. You put on your hand gloves. I will just use something to so i like to start from the part of my hair that is the strongest when my hair has new growth and that is here like over here the back not need something to protect your neck and your back in case relaxer drops on you
so at this point guys I am done applying the relaxer to all the three sections now I can press it down and try to make everything flat try to comb it out a little with an effort to make it lie down flat better so by doing this so I would comb and press it down this is helping to distribute the relaxer further into I think I am ready for my edges now and for the rest of the hair and I am almost out of the laxer Something else I do, since I don't intend combing through the whole hair, is just to separate each of these sections into two to make sure that the middle is also lying down flat. So I would share that into two and part it two different ways. Because what I have noticed over time from retouching people's hair is that sometimes if you don't get to make the middle of each of your section lie down flat that part of the hair is going to get you the fastest like it's going to be the, the fastest place to get her just pat it two different ways so that the middle part can also lie down flat So guys at this point i can stop <laughs> and just go wash it off i don't bother waiting until the hair is relaxed or until the processing time on the book because if i start feeling any pain i am done i am going ahead to wash the hair i would rather have under processed hair than over processed burnt hair so i am going to just go use when washing the hair rinse off with just water as much as possible and then you keep applying you wash, apply, wash, apply, wash until your foam is pure white and until you can feel that your scalp is clean. Like I usually put in my leave-in, like deep condition my hair on the day I relax my hair. But if I am feeling any pain at all, I won't do that. I will just wash, use um, conditioner to condition and comb out my hair and stop. And then some other day I would wash the hair again and deep condition on that day. So for now. When I am washing, if I feel any pain, it will determine if I am going to deep condition my hair today or not. Processing times for different relaxers vary according to the relaxer you're using. So you just have to read the packet and know, but for now, we are good. While washing your hair with a relaxing shampoo, the pink lather means that there is still relaxer in your hair. And you have to remember to wash the, the not your scalp, like the length of your hair because a lot of relaxer gets stuck there. That's why you can see mine is turning I am done washing there. the hair and it's like almost dried so I decided to go ahead and deep condition the hair and this is the deep conditioner I use to use this I just take like some quantity and start working it into my hair especially <clears throat> especially my hair strands apply it quite generously and then to my scalp also oh it feels so cold
Something else I do is to comb my hair. To help this medium heat to just like increase the temperature of your hair. <laughs> My hair feels like something edible. Well, at this point, I think I can wash it off. I'm just going to wash this off and be back. And I am going to apply this is just my local share, but I'm always out. I'm almost I am almost out, but I have enough to use. This thing is going to sting my scalp from experience. My hands are still warm from drying my hair, so I want it a little bit more. I have this oil that says coconut oil, but I know it's not coconut oil. This hair can rest. <laughs> 